What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. All right, today is March 7th and Apple just dropped the latest iOS 16.4 beta 3. We're gonna go ahead and look over the build numbers and talk about that, see if we can find any new features. For those of you that missed the prior two videos on our other beta builds, we'll talk about what new features are at hand and if anything is active here. We're expecting some new Apple Card savings accounts, Apple Pay later, a couple of those things that have not been in the betas yet. So we'll check that out as soon as it finishes, which it just did. And I do want to call out one thing though, and this is something we didn't talk about yet in our other videos. I want to go ahead and show you something on the heat on this uh, iPhone right now. So you can see it's actually 99.7 on here. That is actually substantially cooler than what they have been updating to ever since there's been updates going on and anytime I'm downloading anything, uh, it is significantly warmer than that. So hopefully they fix that. One of the outstanding issues that we had prior is when we were actually using our device that anytime we updated or afterwards, it got substantially hot just texting or scrolling on Twitter or something like that. So being able to see this is actually reassuring. Let's check again. 99.0. So that is definitely good to see. You guys can see right here, system updated. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the update has finished, like we said. It has been sitting for about five minutes or so, and I do wanna show you right off the bat since we were talking about temperature earlier. You can see it is down to 88 degrees now from the 90 plus 87. So yeah, that is about what is an average temperature running on these. It is much cooler than what I've experienced recently. So again, that is with it just sitting on standby. We'll do more testing as we get deeper into beta three. But for now, let me unlock this and let's talk about our typical rundown. So if you go into your settings, general and about, you can see obviously we're running 16.4 and beta three is version 20E, 5229E. And if you jump into the notes, you can see right here, the release notes have been updated for beta three and there are a known issue with the watch migration still and the workaround for that. It does talk about the new features with the actual enrollment of the devices with no more software profiles. Core ML has depreciations, core telephony depreciations, developer settings. There is a new feature here with hang detection staying enabled after rebooting. Home, new features, obviously again, the new matter support and home architecture is in 16.4. There are other known issues as you can see here. The iOS device that initiates the pairing needs to be on the same iCloud account. You might receive an error when pairing with Matter accessories using 11 digit chipsets or setup digit codes, blah, blah, blah. These actually all look to be the same as what was already in existence in the prior build. There are iCloud drive known issues as well. You can see the keyboard has new features with support for new Unicode 515.0 emojis. Again, we talked about that in a prior beta. Autocorrect for Korean keyboard is enabled by default, Ukrainian keyboard, all of these other ones. MapKit has a resolved issue now for improved performance with the MK overlay objects. Pages, numbers, and keynotes have other known issues as well. Passkeys and authentication services. There are new features here where web browsers on iOS with the com.apple.developer, etc. entitlement now have passkey autofill. New authorization controller a new web auth session API. And then there are some other resolved issues for that as well. New features for Apple Pencil. It'll now provide tilt and, and I don't even know what that is, azimuth support, <laughs> uh, Safari web extensions, et cetera, et cetera. You can see the list goes on and on. We're not gonna spend too much time going over all these. You can go to that beta website and check your for yourself. So beyond that, like we said, let me open up notes here. And I'll show you some of those new actual emojis that we talked about before. If you jump into the emoji keyboard, you can search for things such as an octopus. You can see that baby's there. And there are a ton of other gestures as well uh, that you'll be able to find right here also. Aside from that, we were jumping around the settings. You will find eventually there will be a new update to actually under the battery tab, you'll be able to see the power drain for the always on display. There's been a ton of videos talking about what that battery drain is, but it will now be baked into iOS 16.4. The code is there. Uh, it is just not live yet. You can see here, there is no specific AOD power drain. It's only home and lock screen, which again is not 
technically one-to-one -one what we're looking for. Aside from that, no other new features are found. I jumped into the wallet app. We still don't have Apple Pay later or anything of that nature yet, unfortunately. We do not have the savings account. I'm assuming these are gonna be a server-side switch to get these enabled. We do have that new change with cellular and 5G. So now when you go into settings also, and you go into cellular and go to cellular data options, you now have voice and data to be purely 5G on, auto, or LTE, and then 5G standalone is now toggled on. I think T-Mobile is the only company that it can currently utilize this function with. Nothing new, it's been out for a while, but I've yet to see it technically on my phone in Florida here. So those are a couple of the new updates there as well. Uh, there's an Apple Podcast update in this. There's some new shortcuts and focus mode changes. Uh, but for the most part, aside from minimal new animations in the music app, Apple Care and settings now, uh, you have direct links to Mastodon and messaging. There's nothing else in here. Haven't found anything in beta 3, so we'll be on the lookout. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.